Thank you, Chris. Well, as we know, Halloween's just a few days away, and if you've already carved your pumpkins earlier this month, they might uh, might not be looking too good. Well, we've got meteorologist Matt Gray here with us, and I gotta be honest with you, when I saw those pumpkins out in front of our station, I had no idea what you were doing, but apparently you tried out some ways to keep them from rotting, right? That's right. I tried out a couple of ways. So these are, you can see there's two letters, part of KXOY4, so that should tell you about how some of the other ones went. These are the survivors. So, take a guess. What do you think we did to make these last for the past 11 days? You sprayed Pledge all over them, then polished them real nice. Ooh. Uh, I think I think you, I don't know, put a bucket over one of them? Two bucket over, okay. okay. Well, I did use a bucket. Let's find out what did and didn't work. For this test, I carved five pumpkins. The first one was a straight up regular carving, and the other four use methods that are easy to do and easy to find when you go looking on the internet. They are cut out from the bottom, treated with bleach, treated with apple cider vinegar, and treated with petroleum jelly. For the bleach and apple cider vinegar treatments, I mixed just a little bit of each ingredient with water and then soaked the carved pumpkins for a minute or two before drying them off. With the petroleum jelly, I covered the carved parts of the rind. This is supposed to keep them from drying out. It got a little messy, so maybe use a knife if you try this. Once they were all done, I put them in a shady spot outside our studio where they wouldn't get rained on. All right, so this is the 11th day now that our jack-o'-lanterns have been sitting outside. We are going to see how they did, and they definitely don't look the same as they did just a few days ago. Yeah, so you can see here, definitely doing something is better than doing nothing because biohazard, not so much biohazard. Keeping the stem connected to the rind wasn't any good either, so the bottom cut went into the trash, along with the apple cider vinegar pumpkin, which also got moldy. That means the final two contenders are bleach and petroleum jelly, and it's just about as close to a tie as you can get. Interesting. So yeah. which one was harder to do? Mm -hmm. Was it the petroleum jelly? So yeah. you had some problems with yeah, it. Yeah, this was the messier one, and you could still see uh, a little closer if we you could zoom in on the close cam. It's uh, Yeah, it's kind of messy. You can still see some of the jelly there. But what's interesting, and probably the only real difference between these two, so this is the bleach one for reference. So the color is a little bit more bright orange for some reason on the, uh, on the one with the petroleum jelly. And I think... The whole idea behind this was it keeps the rind moisturized and fresher. So I think that might be leaning towards that. Plus, this is a little more environmentally friendly. We know sometimes the critters come and they like to eat the pumpkins out oh, of the Oh, that's rind. true. That might help you make your decision at home or for next year. So what, do, what would you think? What do you think? Which one of these is the better one? Oh, uh, well, petroleum jelly. Oh, same here. I mean, like, come on. It's, it's bright. It's pretty. I mean, I, I think that's the winner for me. All right. Well... Whether you agree or you disagree, you can head to our Instagram, KXOI, 4 News Now, search for that, and uh, you can vote and tell us which one of these methods did you think was the best one. All right. Thanks, Matt.